we are going to discuss the simple S well uh, well planning tool in this section and we begin by having a target that we have already defined here. I'm going to show you the target. I'm going to take a look at the coordinates of the target. It's 8,000 feet TVD. We'll make that RKB and it has a closure direction of 22.06. It's 1,200 feet away. So that's the coordinates of our target and we would have started by putting that target in. And then the next step is to select the well planning tool and then the next step is to select the profiler under the profile names. It's the first one on the list, simple 2D yes well. We choose that and we immediately have a screen which shows us a solution for a yes well. And you notice at the top is how to use first target. Well, we could do an open plan, and we'll do that uh, in the next section. But we already have a target, and the target in this case is a point down at the bottom of the well that is the last point that you want to have. We have some other things that we can do, and we'll see the way we can play around with that. Then we have our kickoff point, our starting inclination, our build rate, our hold angle, tangent, and the things that are in red and white are the things that we can't change. The things that are in white and black are the things that we can change. And what we want to solve for is what we are going to select as our tangent. So we're going to solve for our hold angle. We, we want to have our hold angle. We want to kick off at, uh, at 1,000 feet, so I'm going to put it in 1,000. There's already some numbers in here. I want to take this build rate and I want that to be 3 degrees per hundred so that's this section right here and then the drop rate I want to have is 2 and the angle that I want to enter it at is 0. Basically I have gone ahead and done my whole well right here. I've got the well done. I have it uh, down here, what do I have? I have an extension above the target that goes through the target. I'm making my extension zero. Now, so now we can see what that is. That extension is the extension that I have when I, where I reach the drop. Let's say I want to be 500 feet above my target point by the time I get my drop. So we can see that, that we have that. Now I look at this and I go, I didn't want 1,000 feet. I wanted 2,000 feet as my kickoff point. So I put that in. And, and, I get, and I have that uh, organized there. So all of this has been done by just filling in, telling it what I wanted to solve for in terms of what I wanted to solve for. I can solve for other things if I want to. I can say solve for my tangent. Let's say I want to have it so that my, I'm going to solve for a tangent length so that my tangent is exactly zero. As soon as I finish my build, I'm going to begin my drop. And when I do that, it tells me, that, well, if you're going to do that, then we're going to have to kick off at 4,334 feet. And I go, well, okay, I don't really want to do that. So let's make this so that I'm going to do it with this extension. I'm now I'm going to kick off at 2,000 feet. And now look what happens here. When I have it solving for my extension, and I want to build and drop as, 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 as soon as I finish my build, I want to begin my drop, then I can, in this case, get to my vertical at a shallower depth at uh, 5,460 feet, and then I have a 2,834.695 foot vertical drop into the, the target zone. So this is a very flexible tool that allows me to be able to plan simple, two-dimensional S wells and when I do it using this interactive tool here I can select how I want to exit I want it to create a target plane and I want it to if I select this create waypoint that will create a point right here at the inflection point in this case and I can do that and I can say when I say OK it says do you want to send it to 3D space I say yes I do and then we come over and we have our well in the 3D space. Once we're in the 3D space, I've created a well plan that is slightly different in the 3D. I have a plan that I can use here that, that drops off and goes down to the target just like we wanted, and it's based upon the way I, I designed that. But there's one little slight difference, and that is, is that in the first build part, 
I have kicked it off at 2,000 feet and instead of just having a straight two-dimensional build the first half of my build is actually a Ouija which or uh, also known as a nudge and I can take this Ouija planner and I can set it up the way I want to so that I can turn the first part of my build off in some other direction and then it will will solve that it'll still be an S well but maybe there's something at the surface that if for some reason I want to go around in a different direction and then maybe not I can come back here and just whatever direction that was I think it was a 22 there we go and that's a useful tool powerful tool and an easy tool to do almost any kind of two-dimensional S well that you can imagine